And today we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about clothing that we wear in space that we need as astronauts to, to perform our duties in space and also to, to, uh, to launch from the launch pad and return home safely as well. Because we're in space we have very little uh, limited uh, resupply of, of items and, uh, and we, can't, we, can't be, uh, we can't be changing our clothes, every portion of our clothes every day. We just don't have enough clothing on board to be able to do that. We don't go outside of course, it's a little more sterile environment inside of here and so, uh, and so we don't pick up the normal dirt that you would pick up uh, just going outside of your home or something. And so, um, so our clothes don't get as dirty as quickly as, uh, as they do on the planet. And so we, um, uh, we can actually extend the life of those, useful life of those, uh, a little bit further than what we normally would do on Earth. We don't have a way to wash our clothes. And so we wear them until they're not wearable anymore uh, due to odors or, or whatever it might be. And, um, and then we discard those into a, like a, a mesh bag, like a, we use it as like a clothes hamper. And then those clothes are packed away in the, uh, in the progress resupply vehicle that comes up. It brings us resupplies. And then when it departs, we actually fill it full of trash. And, um, and some of this trash is our old clothing that can't be worn anymore and it's, it's not clean. On any given day, we'd, we'd be dressed out like this with a pair of cargo pants or shorts and a regular, um, either a button-down shirt, a, a button shirt like this, like a polo shirt with a collar, or even just a t-shirt. Um, rarely, uh, the temperature inside of here is maintained around 72, 73 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, so, so it's very, very comfortable. And so uh, it's very rare that you either get really cold or really, really hot. And so, so it's a, pretty much a shirt sleeve environment as we, we refer to it on, on, on Earth. But uh, very comfortable to wear short sleeve shirts in here. This might look a little different than what you've seen the shuttle astronauts wear. And uh, when I flew on my shuttle mission, I had a, um, had a, uh, a space shuttle launch and entry suit. And um, it's a little bit different. It's actually orange in color. And, um, and, uh, but it's a pressure suit and it's to protect us uh, on, on ascent and in, uh, until we get to space. And it, uh, it provides a suit that will uh, keep, us, uh, keep us alive and protect us even in the, uh, the vacuum of space. And so here's, here's the uh, Russian Sokol suit. Uh, the Russian word Sokol means falcon. And um, this is the launch, launch and entry suit that, that we wear in the, in the Soyuz vehicle. And here's the... Um, the EMU, the space, the spacesuit that we wear um, uh, on our spacewalks, and it's connect right now. It's connected to the to the uh, to the wall. We call it the EDA, and um, we actually get suited up, uh, connected to the wall. Then when we're when we're ready to go for a spacewalk, we un unlock the uh, uh, the suit, and then we go into the airlock, which is right here uh, to my uh, to my side here, and um, and that's where the hatch is that we open up to go outside. So in six months, I was only in this suit for 22 hours. The rest of the time, the remaining uh, uh, five months, six months, um, we spend in just normal, normal clothes that we wear inside, uh, just like I have on. We have a lot of uh, these um, exercise shorts, just athletic, athletic shorts, and they've got a little uh, um, the uh, lining inside, and so um, they're very, very handy, and they're just like. A regular exercise shorts you would you would wear on Earth, and so those are about the same. But we wear uh, we wear these probably we try to get three to four exercise periods out of these before we change them out, just because of the numbers that we have. Just a regular T-shirt that we'd um, uh, we'd wear, and that uh, that's actually uh, um, it's actually very very comfortable. It's a very very soft material, um, and we use that um, uh, to exercise. It. Also, a lot of these shirts have have the uh, antimicrobial fibers that are interwoven into the um, into the material, so so helps uh, helps us deal with um, any kind of odors you'd have with like dirty clothes. This is the flight suit that we, um, that we have been issued, and this is actually more uh, used for uh, uh, different uh, public affairs events or uh, public relations types of events or um, interviews and things like that on camera, and so. Um, very comfortable, but not not overly uh, functional uh, in space. Although you can see that we have on here as well, we have have it, uh, a lot of patches of Velcro uh, to assist us with um, 
uh, with holding on to things and keeping track of our tools. A lot of our clothing comes up, uh, actually arrives here on space station before we even get here. It comes up on progress resupply vehicles and it has, it comes with our, uh, our name on them right here and packaging like this and it's usually waiting on us when, when we get here. So here's a clean shirt that I'm looking forward to um, putting on in the next couple of days. So this is sort of how they come packaged, the vacuum packed in these little bags. Thank you for joining us in the airlock and, uh, and uh, thank you for uh, listening to uh, how we dress for success as astronauts.